So, so far we have seen functions in Python, but now let's have a look at how Python manages errors. It's very different from C where the error is just put inside a single variable that is shared in all the process. In Python you have a specific syntax and structure to handle errors which are called exceptions. And this is a very important concept. An exception is really, it really is an error that is thrown by some part of the program. So you have all sorts of exceptions like access denied, uh, no space on device, uh, an IO error, um, all sorts of problems that can happen. If you want to handle an exception, at some point in your Python code, you can always use the try except syntax. So the try except syntax would look something like this. You have a try when you do a bunch of code that you want to do something. And at some point, let's say this can, one of this line of code has a problem. You can then have an except part of your program, which is going to catch this error, and you can then handle the error any way you like. So you can say, for example, try to open a file, and if the file doesn't exist, then you can say, well, sorry, the file doesn't exist, and you can do something else. At the end of uh, the try and accept, you just resume the program outside of the block. So the try and accept block is really here to handle an exception. And you are going to see the try and accept a lot in Python, especially when you are dealing with IO operation, where you are writing on disk or writing on the network. So it's really important that you understand how the try and accept works. But we have, we have a couple of exercises for you to practice.